Before this interview begins, we would like to ask you to buy tickets to see Elephant in the Room on the 6th of June at the Boiler Room in Guildford. Go quick, as tickets are selling fast. Hi, we are Elephant in the Room, and this is directly from the trunk. I'm Louis. And I'm Charlotte. And here with us is the Elephant. What? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Would you like to introduce yourselves and what instruments you play? Yeah, so we are three of the members from The Elephant. Mm-hmm. Great name for the event. I'm yeah. saying no. It was a great coincidence we chose that. I'm Steen. I'm Cameron. I play guitar. Oh yeah, drums, isn't it? I play <laughs> drums. Uh, I'm Harry, I play bass. Shall three we? most important members here. <laughs> I'll ask the first one. How did you guys become a band? So me and Harry kind of been friends since like day one because we're both uh, not talented. So, you know, that kind of... <laughs> um, and then in second year, how did we meet you? Like we, we, we were in the same class, so we kind of just... Yeah, and all the other drummers were taken. Yeah, so I was the straggler, basically. So uh joined on to them, and uh, it worked, you know, and with the singers. Also, you know, we were had been in previous classes before. We decided we worked well together, and so a band was formed. Easy as. Exactly, you know, worked. Wow. Also, taste and music were quite similar across a lot of us. I have a bit more of a, like, a heavier taste. Yeah. Um, I think one of our singers also has the kind of like post hardcore scene and these guys bring along like the blues, some of the lighter hard rock stuff. Okay. You know. So um with that, what songs are you doing for your set list? Okay, so we're doing Another Life by Motionless and White. Yeah, we're doing Bad Apples by Guns N' Roses because yeah, I love Slash and I've never gotten to do one of his songs, so oh. picked it. Um uh, are we doing Phantom of the Opera by Nightwish. I like how you take it in turns. Yeah. <laughs> no, no one does that. They yeah. just give it to one person and they just say all of them. Phantom of the Opera is probably our most like ambitious one. But if we can if we can nail that, that would be great. We're also doing Hit 'em Up Style. Life Changes by Good Charlotte. Yeah. Mm. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Oh no, Savage Daughter by uh, Irish oh, Lady. <laughs> 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 it's like every Irish lady ever. So okay. yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, and of those, do you have any favourite or least favourites? Well, for me, you know, Motionless and White, Another Life. I love that song. It's going to be my favourite. I can hit the drums as hard as I want. Use a double pedal, just go super speed. You know, I love that. My least favourite, um, well, I Savage Daughter, I just don't get to play as much. You know, I kind of just stick to the role of keeping the beat. And, you know, as a drummer, that's my job, but it's, it's less fun. Uh, favourite, probably Phantom of the Opera, even though I picked one myself. Uh, least favorite is definitely uh, what's the blue control one? Hit one star. That is just boring for me to play. I'm playing like the same thing the entire song. It's just not that fun. <laughs> My favorite's uh, Phantom of the Opera as well. I just I love it. I love symphonic metal. Um, I mean, my least favorite maybe Savage Daughter. It's just like one note. So. This is gonna be a little controversial question. Do you have any bugbears about any of your band members? <gasps> Absolutely. Yeah, well, Please he's definitely give, going. Give first. the mic to Cameron. Yeah, give, okay, yeah, so go, go, go. Harry never shows up, and he doesn't always play in half time. And Steve always plays every time I'm trying to tune, which I'm pretty sure happened yesterday. So, yeah. in my defence, his guitar should be in tune before rehearsal, right? Whoa. Unless we're changing. Ooh. Unless we're changing tune. No, not every song. Yeah. No hesitation. Good. Well, to be fair, Steam play yeah. To be fair, Steam playing over us trying to tune is like the one thing. It's like crazy. It happens all the time. I try to tune. Right, yeah. no, y'all are brutal. Keeps ke- it keeps the band together. Exactly. If you can take out the rage in each other, then you're you're calmer by the end. Got a love hate relationship. Exactly. It's all good. Best kind. What's your experience performing, or like what got you guys into performing? Man, from the start. I mean, like I've been playing instruments for a while. Drums for like ten. 11 years now. I, I've always loved that. Um, in tandem with that, I was like, in my junior school, Ravenscoat, right? Shout out to Ravenscoat, great great junior school. Uh, they had a, an event called the R Factor, right? It's play on the X Factor, and I used to sing in that. And I loved just being on a stage in front of a bunch of people, and I've always kind of had the passion to do that. So, you know, with drums, guitar, singing, whatever, I'll do that. I love it. I, I don't really know. I, I'd never actually performed before the course. Um, and I kind of like that we just got thrown into it. It kind of helped me because if it was like a long lead up, I wouldn't like that. Um, and then after the first one, you know, it kind of gave me the confidence. And then if there was other members that weren't as confident, then, you know, 
I, it was like it was kind of nice because you know I felt like okay they're not confident I can kind of boost them. Um, and then after our first like exam performance, I loved performing, and then other performances didn't really live up to that. But I still love performing. You know, I just you can do the best you do. You know, I just to be honest, I just love getting in front of a crowd, doing things, doing silly things. Um, yeah, I love it. I've I've done it for like years, and I I just I just love being in front of a crowd. Really, it's as simple as that. It's enjoyable. I I will agree with you. I do really enjoy just getting in front of a crowd, just going crazy. That's it's one of the better things in life for me. Um, I like going crazy even when it's not at the crowd. <laughs> you know, not surprised. Anyways, so how do you balance rehearsal time with college work or out of um college? work or clubs all that stuff how would how do you balance it all randomly um it is hell trying to organize it but it's because we all take different courses right? yeah as well as music performance um it's it's kind of a pain but we make it work uh we just try to find a time we've all got a study period or if it's a lunch you know and it's not too heavy the subjects that we have between that lunch yeah um we can make that work some some weeks we can't you know occasionally we might hop on like a type of like zoom call or something like that okay. that we're all familiar with from that time uh yeah sometimes we'll do that just talk about the different things we've got going so no like playing there but we're still talking about the state of the band yeah that's quite what interesting do i don't think any of the other bands have se- have done that that's a new concept for me i don't yeah yeah it's always good and also you can keep on building the rapport with your with your band getting to know the members how did you choose the name the elephant you want the the real answer or a clever answer? Both. It might be the same thing, to be fair. Okay. Um, so give us the answer. The event is called the elephant in the room. If we're called the elephant, we're the what? main event, right? We're the That's main crazy. band. Crazy. That's the thing, I right? I never guess. So, I mean, we were just the smartest. I would like to let you know I came up with the name elephant in the room. And so I'm going to need some payment for your name. You are truly the Messiah. I thank you very much. You're welcome. Anyways, that is all the time we have. Uh, thank you so much for being here and letting us get to know you better. It's been very interesting. Do you have any last words to say to the world before this ends? Uh, thank you for hosting. And come to Boiler Room. Come to Boiler Room. Uh, yeah, that's kind of it. I don't Yay. Know. Anyway. Uh, thank you. Have fun on the 6th of June. Thanks, guys. Thank you. If you guys like the animation that was first on the social media account, tag me. I want to know if it's uh, if I should make more, like a seven-part series or something of just elephants going through rooms. Anyway, that's it. Hey. Well, that's all the time that we have. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.